Hi guys, Jessica here. I'm sorry I haven't been doing videos. I've been extremely, extremely sick. I still am. Um, oh, I really wanted to do this video for you, but this is not easy right now. <laughs> um, but I wanted to do it on New Year's Eve. Um, so this is my reading yearly real uh, reading wrap up. I'm gonna do the December first, so you have an idea of what I read. Um, in December, I read a cup of comfort. And then I read Meaning of Sunglasses, which is about accessories, and it was a fashion book. I read Confessions of a Working Girl. I read the 12th book in the Click series, These Boots Made Are Made for Stalking. I read Delirium during the book Tubathon. And I also read The Looking Glass Wards during the book Tubathon. Um, and then I read My Little Phony, which is the 13th book in the Click series. That's all I got done this month. I was busy, and then I was sick, and I just. It wasn't a sickness where I could just read. Um, I've just been too sick. Um, I read my little phony at the beginning of my sickness, but so I, my goal this year was to read a hundred books and I met that, um, in September this coming year, I'm not going to do a reading goal, um, just because I know I'm going to meet it. Um, and I don't want to put the pressure on it. Um, it was good because I really powered through. So pretty much, um, I read eight books in January, I read seven books in February, seven books in March, ten books in April, thirteen books in May, thirteen books in June, twenty books in July, thirteen books in August, eleven books in September, five books in both October and November, and I read seven books in December. I read 119 books this year. Wow. And some of those books are massive. Like, one of those books is, like, 895 pages. Um, I started to take note of the pages. Um, I didn't write all of them down because I only started keeping track of what I read in April. But April, I read 3,200 pages. May, I read 4,080. Um, June, I read 4,457. July, I read 5,540. August, I read 3,671. September, 3,160. Um, October, I didn't keep track. I don't know why I didn't do that. November, I read 2,146, and I was stupid and didn't total this month's um, pages. So I'm going to do that while I talk to you guys right now um, because I'm curious. I really was successful do, during the book tube -a and I never really commit to those things that just happened that I read Delirium and I got in a really good rush for um, for reading and then I read The Looking Glass Wars and I really, really loved it. December I read 2,099 pages. Um, so what are some of the books I like this year? Okay, so I'm going to list some of the books that were my favorite this year, and then I will tell you my top five books of the year at the end. So some of the books that I liked this year was Diva by Jillian Larkin in the entire Diva series. It's the Flapper series. It's fabulous. Um, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, and that's the book that surprised me the most this year. I never thought I would enjoy it. It's usually not my cup of tea, and I really enjoyed it. Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire. I started getting into the new adult series, and it was really fun. The Magnolia League and the White Glove War um, was a really fun, unique, paranormal kind of uh, series. Matched was fabulous. Born Wicked, another one I loved. Divergent, another book I never thought I would like. Grim Legacy, which thank you to Books, Boys, and Such. I picked that book up from the library, I believe, and I remember he had talked about it, and I enjoyed it so much that it made my list um, for the year. Discovery of Witches, I really can't even... It was just so fabulous. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, I finally read that book, and now I know why everyone gave us such hype. It is fabulous. I read The Helter Skelter, all about the Charles Manson murder. That's a massive book. I read the entire thing. It was so interesting, so well put together. I think I enjoyed it most because I love true crime, and two, I, I'm a journalist, and the way that they went through everything in terms of reporting it was really fascinating. Um, Delirium and Looking Glass Wars both made my short list both books that I just read. Every book from the Daughters of the Moon series, fabulous, something that I plan to continue in 2014. Ruined, um, 
by Paula Morris, I believe. That was such a fabulous ghost story. I enjoyed it so much. And lastly, Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, which I read around Thanksgiving time, beginning of, it was the end of November, and it was fabulous. Something that I had been had in my drawer and I hadn't read, and it was just so much. Now, all of these books could easily make my top five of the year, but there's a few that definitely, definitely make, make the mark. Um, it's actually top six. So, of course, The Magnolia League and White Glove War, those two books are on my top five, or top six of the year. If you haven't read those books, it's so interesting. It has magic and voodoo, and, oh, it's just so interesting. Um, Born Wicked is another book on my short list for my top books for the year. Of course, of course, Divergent is going to be on my short list. It was so fabulous, and it was just so um, entertaining, and Cinder, of course, is going to be on my short list. Both of those books, I tried something different in terms of my reading, and I was so pleasantly surprised, and I was so thankful. And my top book of the 119 books I read in 2013 is The Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I had that book for so long. I was waiting to read it. It's a hunker of a book. It was so intimidating and it was so fascinating. I did not want that book to end. I need to continue that series. So pretty much what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through all these books, all my lists, and compile a list of books that I need to read from these books, um, continuing on the series and stuff because I'm running low on the books in my drawer and it's going to be time for a haul soon. So that is my 2013 reading wrap up. I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I'll be feeling 100% better and um, I hope you guys have a happy new year. Bye.